Do you want to find a new and cool way to incorporate your dehydrated powders into everyday life? How about putting them into capsules? Hi folks, it's Darcy from the PurposefulPantry.com. Welcome back to my channel or howdy to those of you who are brand new. Today we're going to be doing something that's a little offbeat, a little different than anything I've done on the channel before, but I'm going to show you a way that you can take your dehydrated goods and put them into a capsule, a gelatin capsule that you can fill on your own. I have a kit that I use to fill capsules to create uh, supplements that my family and I can take. Now I am not a medical professional, nor do I play one on YouTube, so I am not going to be telling you what to put in your uh, capsules, nor am I going to tell you the ratios of things to use to make your life better for certain reasons, because that's not what we're here to do. I'm here just to show you how I fill my capsules with powder, so stay tuned. Okay, so let's get started. What we're gonna be using today is a capsule filling system. You can choose whatever one out there on the market that you want. I happen to be using one by Lead Life. Um, oh, Lead Life, is that in there? Uh, that's the company that I happen to buy mine for. It's size, capsule size zero. Um, but there are a ton of the same kind of setup that are just done by different marketers. Uh, they just have a different name on their boxes, but they're kind of all the same. But there are also some wooden ones, there are some smaller ones, there are some three size in one contraptions so it's whatever you choose for you um, but I'm just going to show you how I fill these capsules for us okay so what mine comes with is a uh, six frames plus a couple of tools uh, it came, comes with a screwdriver that you can attach and uh, disattach the handle because it does not fit in the box with the handle on it comes with a small spoon if you want to do some very fine filling I never have used this uh, and this comes with what's kind of like a bench scraper, okay? You're going to want to use this when we start filling to uh, to make sure everything goes in the holes. So we'll use that in a little while. Um, then here is the base plate that you're going to be putting all of your capsule bottoms into. Um, and then we have these various things that I'll show you as we use them what they're for. So I'm just going to set these aside for now. Okay. So also what you're going to need is some kind of capsule. I happen to use the Pure Gelatin size zero, but you can probably find some vegan ones of these available if you don't want to use the gelatin. There's also a size zero zero and a size three zero. Um, I just happen to go ahead and use these bigger ones because you're having to take an, enough of them as it is um, and filling them up more and taking them. I don't find these hard to swallow, but if you do, you're going to want to use a smaller capsule. When they come in the bag, they are um, already... They are complete. So what you're going to have to do is spend a little time separating them out. Um, and just so you see, these pop apart very easily. They're just, it's super easy. And do not do this with wet hands. Don't do this with, with uh, sweaty hands. Don't do this with any of your uh, items wet because these will start to dissolve pretty quickly. So what I have here is uh, a couple of bowls of my tops and the bottoms. Um, that way they're already separated. So I'm gonna show you what I do, and then I'll show you what the manufacturer um, recommends. I just, I find that it's a little too fussy for me, and I would rather just get it out of the way. So as I'm separating the tops from the bottoms, what I'll end up doing is just filling up the holes as I go. It doesn't take me long to get in the groove of just filling these, just like this. I don't know if you can even see it because it's hard to see, but I'm gonna show you a little closer as you fill them. You can kind of tell which ones you have the capsule in and which one do you still need holes for? And when I look at it this way, um, to me in real life, I don't know what it's gonna do on the camera, these have um, a kind of dull look to them and these are deeper, darker colors. So I know that there's no capsule in this part uh, and these capsules are filled so it's a little easier for me to see. But I can also just at any point, because this is spring loaded, just do a quick like this, push it down and I can see where those holes need to be. So as I'm separating, either uh, I just go ahead and start filling as I'm going, or because uh, sometimes you can just sit down with this and separate it while you're watching TV or watching a YouTube video, and just go ahead and separate your entire bag, put them in two different Ziploc bags for storage if you don't go through all of your capsules in one day. So, uh, but what we're gonna do now is go ahead and do it the way that the manufacturer suggests. Okay, so to start, we're gonna take this layer uh, and I wish I could ever, it's the frame plate. So what you do is you see where these holes are on the bottom. They're just going to kind of sit over the screws here. It doesn't lock down, but it kind of sits in that spot. And what you do is you pour some of your capsules bottoms into the frame plate. Okay. Don't worry about putting too many because you're just going to pour off what you don't need. That's what this open end is for. So what you're going to do is you're going to take your hand and just kind of cover that end. 
that corner so that nothing falls out. And you're just gonna sit here and shake. What these do is they end up dropping into the hole and you can shake for a while. Try to get them all in there. Go this way and that way and this way and that way. And just keep going until you have all of your holes filled. Now, this is gonna take a little while. This is the part that I find is kind of fussy and it doesn't always work well. Um, I end up having to do a lot by hand anyway. So when you think you're all filled, and I can see that I'm not, but we're just gonna go by the thought that maybe we are all filled. And some of these are trying to go into a hole that already has something in it. If I can just help push these along a little bit. All right, so let's just pretend that we're done for the sake of the video. And then we're just gonna take this and pour out the ones we don't need and let them go in through just like this. And yes, I know that some of these have come out now that we're just in. So then I'm gonna take the frame off and we're gonna see what's here. Now, some of these have tried to put a double one into one. So I will just go back and fill that back up. Sometimes you might find that some have gone upside down and you don't need them that way at all. What you can do is to check is to drop it down and you can see where the empty spots are and it also makes it a little easier for you to pull out the ones that have gone upside down so i can just push this down a little bit and grab these that are right here and just quickly flip them over so i'm going to sit and fill up the rest of these holes and i'll get to you the rest of it in just a second Okay, ultimately that took less time to go ahead and do it the manufacturer's way than if I did it by hand. But sometimes when I fill mine up, it is completely just a mess and half of them are wrong side and I have to try to pry them out. And they're not always the easiest to get out. So if I'm just sitting here separating anyway, I'm just gonna go ahead and fill my board because it's just easier for me. But you can do whatever you'd like to do, but that's how it works. So we are now full. Oh, no, we're still missing two. It's funny how I can see them empty in one direction and then come from a different, a completely different angle and finally see the extra holes that are still, oh, that's not it, that's it right there. So always double check yourself. Wait, where is that one? There it is. That way you've always got all of your holes filled because what's gonna happen if your holes aren't all filled, as you're going through and adding all of your powder to this, you're gonna drop uh, powder just onto your tray and make a bigger mess. Okay, so what are we gonna do now? I have two that I am working on, just like this. So these are the pills that I've already created uh, a little while ago. And each pint jar will hold about 150 filled capsules. So these are pure green powder, which is full of kale, mustard greens, collard greens, spinach, lettuce, carrot tops, beet tops, uh, radish tops, whatever I happen to have, whatever I can get, I will dry and I will put them in into my green powder, which is what this is right here. If you'd like to know how to make green powder, I will leave a link in the description box below and in the i cards above so that you can watch how that process works. But that's how, this is what they look like when you get done, okay? So this is really super easy. It's just a little tedious and it can be um, something that you just have to practice a few times before you get the hang of it. And then what I have here, this ugly powder, um, is a mixture of about one third um, green powder, one third beet powder, and about, uh, one third vegetable powder. That's about what this is. I'm not gonna give you any recipe to do this because that's a nutritional thing that you need to decide for yourself how you're gonna do this. And because I'm not an experienced nutritionist nor am I a doctor, I'm not gonna give you the kind of medical advice. But any of the powders that you do, you can kind of combine how you'd like. And so that's what we're doing with this. So the next set of pills I'm gonna make are this, this uh, superfood powder, I'm gonna call it, whatever it really is. All right. So the next frame we're gonna put on is this little white frame, which is your filling frame. So as you can see, the pill, the pill bottoms are still there and this frame goes here. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take my powder and I'm just going to pour a bunch of it into my tray. And I'm gonna need quite a bit. Then I'm gonna take my scraper and I'm just gonna start working this back and forth across the pill, the pill capsule openings, okay? What we're gonna wanna do is fill all of these and that little beet powder had a little chunk of beet that had clumped, but that's okay, because that doesn't really matter. You're not gonna be chewing this, you're gonna be swallowing it, so that doesn't matter. All right, so we're just gonna continue 
making sure that all of the holes are filled to the best of our ability. Use your scraper to push this back and forth. And then if you find you need to add more powder, then add more powder. You can do this if you're super careful without this guard. I just find the guard is easier when you're trying to clean up at the end to not make a mess. And I am a huge mess maker. All right, so that's the last of the holes right there that need to be filled. I can see that almost all of them are completely full. But then here's the cool thing. Just like with all powders, they're not settling down to the, the, uh, the dentist they can get. And you want to get this as dense as you can to make the most of each of the capsules that you're going to take. So what we have now is this tamper plate. We're just going to set it right on top and we're going to push down as hard as you can without like trying to break it. And then when you pull it up, you'll notice you've got more room. So you can put more powder in all of your capsules. So here we go some more. I'm going to add a little bit more here. And don't worry if you get a little too much. It's not going to matter because you can clean it up and store it. completely powdered and a pea. My husband would love that because he loves peas and I'm not being sarcastic at all. All right, so we're going to try this one more time. Just tamp it down. See if you can make any more space and I am pretty much done. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to take this and I'm going to start scraping all of these extra bits down towards this corner. And then I can just pour it into a bowl. Doesn't matter because you can use the rest of this later or you can pour it back into your jar if you're all done. Like I said, this can get just a little bit messy. That's okay because you can clean up really easily after. you can use your scraper to kind of direct the way that things are going to go in here. Just like that. Okay. I'm not going to get too much more fussy about that because I know I'm just going to make a bit more mess later. So there we go. There are our bottom capsules filled with my superfood powder. Okay. So the next thing we're going to do In the same fashion, we are going to place this on top of this bottom rack. And what we're doing is going to fill this one with the top plates, I mean the top capsules, um, in the same fashion. I'm going to pour a bunch of them into here. We're going to pick it up and we're going to wrap our fingers around that opening on the corner and then just start shaking these. Oops. Yep. And see, I made a bit of a mess that way. All right, as we think we're done, I can see two places right here that are not full, and I will go ahead and pop one of these in that are waiting. Because sometimes, just the time of trying to shake it and shake it and shake it and shake it to get one hole full, um, you can just go ahead and pop one in. All right, it looks like we are pretty full. So I'm gonna take this off. And as you can see, we have some that have tried to go in upside down, so I will just flip them around. All right, in the same fashion that you check the first one, you want to check this too to make sure you have a capsule top in all of the holes. 
and you can generally see that you're going to have a space that looks much darker than the ones that are filled. That's the one you know that you need to do. All right, so what we're going to do now is take this top. We're going to place this uh, top plate with your thumb indentions on top of it because what we need to do is move this now. Get our pods back or capsules back sorry we're going to take this and we're just going to flip it over just like this and set this on top okay so it's not quite it's not like it locks on but because of those screws attaching to the um kind of using that hole as a guide it kind of stays in place and then what you're going to do is you're going to just push down and you're going to hear pops and you're going to hear it as they go down now you can do it by fingers if you want, like just holding it this way and that way and kind of pushing in each area. But I find that just a firm press of both hands usually takes care of all of it. So we're gonna take off this top plate, which were all of our capsule tops. We're gonna get another bowl. We're gonna pull these up. And then I'm just gonna flip them and start poking them through. You have Little capsules full of goodness. Okay, so what happens is that um, you have a little bit of of powder in your capsule that you can just take with a glass of water, however you want to do it, whatever you want to. If you want to know how many to take, that's totally up to you. If you're trying to replace one serving of vegetables a day, um, you can take eight of these and that equals to approximately one cup of fresh vegetables. Now, yes, it seems like you're taking a whole lot of them, um, but what you don't want to do is use this to replace all of the food that you eat during the day, but it's a good supplement to add on top of what you're already doing. So you can do three in the morning, three at lunch and a couple at dinner, and you've got one extra serving of vegetables in the daytime uh, that you wouldn't necessarily have gotten any other time. So here is how it looks. Can you see that? All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and finish up some more and then I'll show you how I jar them up. Okay, now every once in a while, you may run across a couple that didn't work, that you didn't get the cap on, and it didn't work well. All you have to do is just do it yourself. It's not a big deal. 
You can push that down, you can put your cap on, and then just squeeze them together, and that's all it needs. And there you go. Here we are. All right. To keep going. So as you can see, I've got a good start going. I've got more to do. Uh, I need to go ahead and fill up both jars, go through all of my powders, because I want to go ahead and move all of that, get more uh, capsules in for our family. So what can you add to your capsules? So think about those things that you eat every day, that you powder, that you don't know how to use. Put them in a capsule. Could you do garlic? If it's a garlic supplement, you can kind of do that same thing. Could you do cinnamon? If you like to take cinnamon supplements, then that might work the same way. Uh, if you would like to do any kind of your vegetable powders or any of your green powders, do them. They work this way just as well, and you can take them as an extra supplement during your day to add extra nutrition to your diet. Now, how much to do, I cannot tell you. I am not a medical professional. Uh, I don't play one on TV. This is something that you have to do for you and your family, um, but it's a great way to add a little extra boost of nutrition to your day uh, on top of what you're already eating. But let me remind you, don't let this replace what you should be eating every day anyway. Use this as a supplement for things that you might not normally eat always. So for us, leafy greens are one of the things in our diet, so we need to put a lot more of effort into eating during the day. But this helps me boost that sometimes as well. And so this way I also get the benefits of the beets. So it's just whatever you want to put in here. If you want to go try to uh, find a ratio for those things to put into those uh, powder pills that you can get online, you can do that too. Just figure out what it is that's in it and what you're going to put in. Um, so I hope this really helped. So let me reiterate again, basically the ratio of anything that's dehydrated into powder back to fresh is about one tablespoon of powder equals approximately one cup of fresh. Now that's pretty generic because you may have different densities and you may have um, just, it, it's all pretty generic number, but that's a good round guideline that you can use. So if you wanna get one serving of a fruit or vegetable, now try that again, one serving of a vegetable that is about a cup, eight of these a day is what's going to replace that approximate serving, okay? Or, so if you wanna get an extra cup of vegetables during the day, eight of these will give you an additional cup on top of what you already eat. Now, can you do fruit powders? You sure can. Uh, just watch that that amount of sugar that you're taking in is gonna be on top of all the sugar that you take in during the day anyway. So it's not, it doesn't work quite the same because you don't wanna just be taking in a whole bunch of sugar that you're not really tracking. So know that that also adds to your caloric intake during the day as far as your carbs. Um, so those of you who do this normally, if you have a different way of doing it or uh, anything like that, please drop those comments down below because I'd love to hear what you do. Um, this is a pretty easy uh, a pretty easy process. It just can be daunting those first couple of times that you try it, but once you get the hang of it, it's like, oh, this is so easy. So um, it really took me less than probably, I would say it took me less than 30 minutes to do this amount of pills. Uh, this amount of capsules because they're not really pills but this amount of capsules um, and that's even stopping to try to do things that I need to do for the video. So I probably could have done about double of this in that time period. Um, this is not something that's mandatory. This may be something that's too fussy. I will say it's a little expensive to get started. My kit cost about $35. Uh, gosh, did it cost that much? I think it was about 30 when I bought it. 32 I'll have to go look on my, gosh, uh, from how long ago that I bought it, but it, but I think I remember looking at them the other day and they range anywhere from 30 to $35 for this particular setup, which is the size zero capsule. Um, and the bag, that large bag was, I think about $10 when I had to reorder some to do this project for you guys and to start filling mine back up. Um, so that initial investment is kind of hefty, but if you're using your powders and moving through them and trying to find new ways to use them, the cost then after that first time is just to refill your capsules, uh, as you restock them. So I hope you enjoyed this. I really hope you enjoyed this kind of different twist on the things that you can do with your dehydrated food and add more nutrition to your meals every day, to your life every day. Um, so I hope to see you again next time.